Good afternoon, I'm Carrie Kimball, Executive Director of First Tee of Greater San Antonio. And to today's version of a quick nine, I'm really happy to um, welcome Jarena Pillar to um, the First Tee. So thank okay. you for Jarena for joining us today. Yeah, um, so <laughs> Jarena's first year on LPGA was in 2010. And since then you've made almost $4 million and, earned, and had 38 top 10 career finishes, which is really outstanding. Um, you've also played in three consecutive Solheim Cups with um, also making the winning putt in 2015, which I remember watching, which was really, really exciting, and as well as competed in the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. So that's a little bit background on Jarena if you don't happen to know her. So again, Jarena, we're going to ask nine, I'm going to ask you nine questions. It's our version of a quick nine, so we'll get started. Uh, tell, tell us about yourself and where you are from. Um, my name is Jarena Pillar. I'm from Roslyn, New Mexico. I currently reside in Flower Mound, Texas, which is the Dallas Fort Worth area, and uh, married to Martin Pillar and have a beautiful little boy named AJ who is about to be two years old, and I cannot believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe it either. Um, what college did you attend? I went to the University of Texas, El Paso um, from 2003 to 2007, majored in math, and yeah, just enjoyed my time there. Okay, excellent. And then you already told us about your family, of course, Martin, who's played on the PGA Tour, and then um, your son, AJ. So thank you for answering that question. Um, one thing, I know you've been on the tour for 10 years, and prior to that, you know, kind of going back and forth from uh, futures and stuff. So what would the Jarena of today tell the Jarena of 10 years ago, um, starting your LPGA rookie season? Um, I would say probably just patience and I know as cliche as that sounds um, and you know just get better every day if you can get better every day your outcomes are gonna be pretty good yeah. um, just because I feel like from my rookie season to now I feel like every year I've gotten a little better every time and I at the time I didn't really realize it until you do it um, but it, just being better at everything being better at life being you know, a better mom, better sister, better daughter, better wife, better golfer, um, just being better every single day. Um, it, it's, it definitely is, is going to reap huge benefits uh, down the road. We can always be uh, improving ourselves for sure. So I love that. Um, I recently read an article about your mom um, and how she was on welfare with your brothers and yourself and then went back to school to be a PE teacher. And so I think that showing you perseverance, which is a first T core value, um, by, by your mom showing you the perseverance, how do you think that that has impacted, you know, where you are today? Um, you know, it's been a huge impact on me um, just because, uh, well, now that I'm a mom and I've, I, I know what it is to be a mom and for my mom to go through that, it just blows my mind. Like before I was a mom, it blew my mind. And, um, you know, it doesn't, like the commercial said, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from. Um, if you dream big, you work hard and you just, you get better every day and um, you, you can go somewhere. And so for my mom to, you know, be a single mom and she always put us first, but then she still worked very hard, worked three jobs, went to college and bettered her life. She got better every single day. Um, that was huge for me. And I think that that's been huge for, for my career. And just because I'm from small town, Rosal, New Mexico, which many people don't know, um, where that is, or even New Mexico as a state, uh, you know, I, I, I just think that it's just the per perseverance is, is, um, just instilled in me and I couldn't be more thankful for her for showing that, um, to us. Love that. Um, so being involved with the first tee, if you're a participant and you get to the highest levels, there's a lot of leadership opportunities where you can go to events where our trustee, our board of trustees are, and these are successful entrepreneurs or businessmen and women in the, in the country, perhaps world. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about networking and how that has played a role in your career to date? Because I think it's a really important you know, it's really important when our kids get to go to these opportunities and I just want to kind of give them some advice about how to make sure that they're using this opportunity to network with these individuals. 
Um, yeah, networking is huge. Um, goes back to whenever I first uh, started my professional career. Um, I networked at the golf course that I worked at, and that's how I got my first sponsors um, to help me get on on my feet and continue to try to chase my dream. And even to this day, um, the people that I've met at the golf course, whether it's my pro-am partner, whether I meet them as an executive, um, our host families that we meet, um, you know, it's just, it, there are relationships you establish, but there's some that, you know, they'll last a lifetime. And you never know when golf is no more. You don't know when, you know, if I were to get hurt or, you know, I didn't know how I was going to play or how I was going to um, come back from having a kid. And I might need those resources. Yeah. And, you know, golf is a great place to network. Um, I've been in so many plan groups that either a company is hosting, say, a customer or a potential customer. And when the day's done, they've done their business on the golf course. They networked and used golf to network and they've gotten this customer. Um, they've sealed the deal. So I think it's very important and it's definitely not obviously impacted me directly, but I've seen it impact many people's lives um, during my time on tour. I'll say, um, you know, John, my husband, that's how we know you guys um, played with Martin and we are still friends with a lot of the families that we stayed with when we traveled and it's just, they're special to us. So whether it's a friend or a potential opportunity in business and in life, it's, it's, that's what we miss the most about it, but it's been really important in our lives. So, um, so first he is as a mentorship program as well. And I know you've talked about mentors in the past. And so if you could just describe, you know, I'm sure you have many mentors, but maybe one in particular and what's a piece of advice that they've given you that's kind of stuck with you. Um, I think um, one of my golf mentors, um, the biggest one I would say is probably Julie Inkster. Um, you know, I've looked up to her just because she's a great golfer. Um, not only that, she's a great person. And besides being a great person, she's an amazing mother. Um, and so before, obviously, when I wasn't a mom, she, I looked up to her as, you know, a golfer, um, a wife because I was a wife and now that I have AJ I look up to her as a mother um, but she has um, just really has taught me about hard work and you know when I'm at the golf course your attention and your dedication is 150% what you're doing at that point when I go home and I'm a mom I am doing it 150% at home and I am fully in it so whatever you do just do it to the fullest extent. And um, obviously she's been very successful and not only in golf, but as a wife and a mother. And that's really been very, very uh, helpful for me. Mm -hmm. I love that. We all need our mentors for sure. Um, so you played in three Solheim Cups and the Olympics, so obviously representing our country, which I absolutely love. And golf's awesome because it's one of the few sports where you can transition from, you know, an individual sport to a team sport. So can you talk about how that kind of happens? And uh, I know it's, it's very exciting because when we watch it, it's very exciting. So if you could just talk about that, um, that'd be great. Um, yeah, it's definitely different going from – playing individual sports week in and week out. And then every two years you get to play as a team. Um, I actually was fortunate enough to grow up playing team sports all my life. So I've known nothing but team sports. So when I started playing golf, that was a huge adjustment to me, um, having to do it all by myself. Um, the really, really cool thing about um, the Solheim Cups that I've participated in is I've always, I've always described team sports as um, you know, playing for the girl in front of you, playing for the girl behind you. You can do that obviously in golf because it, it's, that's how it is on the golf course. Right. Uh, but, you know, whenever I, I played baseball, soccer, volleyball, there were people on my team that I probably, you know, didn't have much more in common than our sport. But I knew we were successful in our teams because I knew that the second that we put on that same jersey, I had their back and they had mine. Yes. And that is like very, I mean, that was so important to me. And that's exactly what I learned through playing team sports. And it's, and it could definitely be carried over to anything. You're part of a team of a company or part of a team member of your family. Um, 
And so being able to, for one, play for your country is one of the greatest honors I could ever have. Um, but also to, to play alongside some of the best golfers in the world is, uh, was, was really special. Yeah, we certainly love watching it, especially in 2015. I remember watching it live. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then um, just to wrap up here, our ninth question, what are you doing to stay competition ready? I think has the LPGA announced when they're coming back in June? Uh, yes, it'll be in the middle of June. Um, you know, we have a net in our backyard with mats. So we've been hitting balls out there, sending videos to my coach. We have a putting mat in our garage, make fit a uh, shift little gym. Um, but last Tuesday, our courses have been starting to open up. So basically just play only. You have to show up right at your tee time, leave as soon as you're done, walking, no warming up. So that's been a huge adjustment for me. Um, I've always said there's two things in this world that will get me upset, and that's a cold shower, and that's not warming up before I take off. <laughs> so I really been having to work hard and, and change my attitude going to the golf course, uh, knowing that I'm not able to warm up before I play. So, um, you know, just I, I'm really grateful for this time. It's, I'm using it to really focus on my technique, and okay. hopefully. Um, when the courses start opening up practice facilities, then I can start um, kind of putting those techniques to, to test and um, yeah, to start preparing for the season. So it's, it's definitely looks different than it normally does, um, but just trying to make the best of the situation and, and uh, getting better every day. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to uh, speak with me today and, and the first year greater San Antonio, and we hope you and your family stay safe. And we can't wait to see you out on the LPGA here very shortly. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Sharina.